Hi there, welcome back. Let's talk about query using data manipulation language. So for this video, you will learn how to write SQL scripts to query data which are stored in database tables. First of all, let's look at types of DML query commands. So the first one will be select from and the description is fetches data from a database. Query always begins with select. So for all the DML query commands, they all always start from select from. And next is where command, which includes only rows in a query that match a given condition. And then we have order by, which is sort the results from a query by a given column, either alphabetically or numerically. Next is group by, which is arranging data into groups. And then inner join, which combines rows from different tables if the join condition is true. Furthermore, we have sum, which returns the sum of all the values in the column. And then count, which counts the number of rows where the column is not now. And finally, we have AVG, which returns the average value for a column with a numeric data type. So in order to create a DML query, we always write like this, select field name from table name where search condition. So most of the DML query, we will write this way. And then we also have SQL operators whereby we can put in the search condition. So the first one will be equal. So this is for equals to, and then we have greater than, and then we have less than. Next will be greater than or equal to, and then less than or equal to, and then not equal to. And then finally is now we check for now values. Now let's look at the example whereby we can use the where clause. So first of all, this is the sample table here. So we have the city column and the country column. So for example, Kuala Lumpur, and then country is Malaysia, London, UK, Perth, Australia, and this is the table name, and this is the primary key, and this is the non-primary key. So the first question is display all attributes for the country Australia. So when they say all attributes, it actually means all the columns. So the easiest way would be select star. So select star from location where country is equal to Australia. So this is the result. So it will select everything that's related to country Australia. So based on the above example, it will be city, Perth, and then country Australia. And next, display city name for all cities in UK. So for this example, we only want the city. So it means that we will just select city from location where country is equal to UK. And this is the result. So city column and then London here since we only select the city column. Therefore, the result only show the city column and based on the country is equal to UK. So look at above here, country, UK, and the result is London here. Therefore, this is the result from this query here. The next example is about order by, count, and group by. So this is the sample table. For example, city and country, Karachi, Pakistan, Manchester, UK, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, London, UK. And this is the table schema. So location as a table name, city as a primary key, and country as a non-primary key. So the first question is, display the cities alphabetically by the city. So for this question, we are supposed to sort the table based on the city column. This is actually quite simple. So what we can write is, select city from location order by city. It means that we are selecting the city column and then we will make sure that we are sorting the result based on the city column. And let's look at the final result. So this is the result here. So city and then we are sorting it alphabetically. It means that K, a, so this is the first row, and then KU is the second row, and then L is the third row, and then finally M is the fourth row. So right now, the city column is actually sorted alphabetically. The next question is a bit tricky. Display the total number of cities for each country in the table. It means that for this question, we are supposed to count how many cities are there per country. So in order to do that, we have to use function to count number of city group by country. So you can just think of it this way. We will just split this table into a few groups based on the country. So first of all, let's say Pakistan will be in first group and then UK will be in second group and then Malaysia is going to be in the third group. And then in each group, I'm going to count how many rows are there per group. So let's say for Pakistan, it's going to be like one and then for UK, it's going to be two and then for Malaysia, it's going to be one as well. So in order to do that in query form, we can just write select count city it means that we are counting the city comma country so these are the two columns that we want to display for our output and then from location group by country so as i say first i group the table based on country and then i will count how many rows are there per group so the final result is going to be something like this so count bracket city and then country one for pakistan since only karachi here and then two for uk since we have manchester and london and then one for malaysia since we only have kuala Lumpur here therefore this is how we can use count and group by together in order to perform this type of query.
and the next example is using n so for this table we have student id course name and course date and the table name is student record and then the primary key is student id and course name and the non-primary key is course date and the question is display student id for all students who attended database 101 course on 2022-0101 so in order to do that we can just write select student id from student record where course name is equal to database 101 and course date is equal to 2022-0101 and the result is going to be this one so student id is equal to 5 here so we look at this table on the top here database 101 and this particular date so only this first row fulfill the requirement and the following example is about like and sum so we have student id student name and city for example five akhmet doha six sajiv london seven ali islamabad so this is the table name and then this is a primary key student id then we have student name and city as the non-primary key and the question is display name of student with name starting with a it means that we are supposed to filter the table and find out which name start with the alphabet a so how do we do that we can just write select student name from student so student name is the column name student is the table name where student name like open quotation a percentage closing quotation and then semicolon so just look at this this percentage actually means any value it means that we will filter out the student name which starts from a and then end with any value and the final result is going to be student name Ahmed and Ali here the next question is calculate the total of all student IDs from student table so this question is asking us to sum all the student ID which means we are supposed to add 5 plus 6 plus 7 so how do you do that you can just write select sum student ID from student table just like that and the result is going to be some student id as a column name and then 18 as the final result and the final example is about average command so this is the sample table we have course name duration database 101 2 python 101 4 course as a table name course name as a primary key duration as a non-primary key and the question is calculate and show the average duration of courses it means that we are supposed to find the average duration for all the courses so for this example since we only have two rows it means that we'll just use four plus 2 divided by 2 so the answer should be 3 so the query is going to be select avg duration so this is the column name from cost table and the result is avg duration and the answer is 3 here so this is how you can use an average function to find the average value and before we end let's look at one partial question so the question is sample data to be stored in a table student underscore test is shown so this is the sample table we have student id as the column test id as a column and mark as the other column the question is write a structure query language sql script to find the average mark of students in test a7 and the total mark for this question is three marks here so just try to do this question based on what we learned from the video and comment down below thank you and i'll see you again then bye bye